Boom. We are back with a science activity today. That's right, we're gonna do a STEM science project. Now you're gonna need three things for this. The first thing you're gonna need is a bowl or tray of water. I suggest a bowl. Um, so I have my, this is my baking tray of water. You're gonna need aluminum foil. And then you're gonna need some type of manipulative. Now, um, ideally I'd go with coins, like pennies, quarters, nickels. I don't have any on me. So what I'm going to be using is these fruit um, ice cubes. You can use Legos. Legos would also be another good one. I would suggest the small little Legos if you have those. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make a floating boat. That's right, we are gonna use our aluminum foil to make a boat that will float on the water and will carry our manipulative. Now, I am no engineer and I have never made a boat before, but what a time to learn. So, we're going to start off with taking a, about a square of our aluminum foil. So, aluminum foil is great because it is easy to um, manipulate and move about, it's very flexible. You can just rip it off, you don't need scissors. Also, look, listen to the sound of it. Kind of reminds me of the rain or thunder. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start by making a boat. I'm gonna start, obviously, I think this is gonna take a couple times. We're gonna have to do this a, a few times to see um, what kind of model or plan is the best. Um, you are welcome to like, if before you wanna start building, you can get a piece of paper and start writing out your plan. That's a great idea. You can draw out what you think is gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna just jump right in. I'm gonna kinda go with the fan method. So have you ever used like paper to make a fan? So I'm gonna fold, like fold it in. And I'm gonna do that on all four sides. Now my, my boat doesn't have to be large because I have a small tray of water, but if you're like using the bathtub, you can make your boat as big as you want it to be. I don't have a bathtub. Now I'm gonna go on both on all four sides, like I said, and fold it in. Now my thought is that this is gonna help it be a little bit more stable because when I fold it, um, it's getting layers and layers of aluminum foil, so it's becoming a little bit stronger. So that's my initial thought. Now I'm gonna, then I have this. Now I could like, I guess, put it as like a little, little raft that floats, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fingers to make it more of like a curved boat. So I'm gonna curve it in. It almost is gonna look like like a hot dog. What, a hot dog, yeah, you know, the what carries the hot dog. Um, I'm gonna make a little bit of, a, of the boat here. So it has a little dip in there. So I'm gonna put it in, Let's see if you can see. I'm gonna put it in and the hope is that it doesn't sink because um, I haven't even put in my ice cubes yet. So let's see what happens when I just put in the aluminum foil. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, do you know why aluminum flo floats in the water and it doesn't automatically sink? That's right, because it is lighter than the water. So my boat is floating. Now I'm going to use, I'm gonna do one at a time, one ice cube at a time, and I'm gonna pick my lightest ice cube to start with. That's my watermelon one, so. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna do a little zoom action here so you guys can see what's happening. Let's see. So far, so good. Let's see what happens if I move it around a little. Okay, so the aluminum foil boat is holding my watermelon. Now let's see what happens if I put in a grape. Join your little watermelon friend. It, it's still working. Yay. Oh, I do see a little here that might eventually take on some water. To be careful about that. So what happens if I put on another apple and an apple? You know what, guys? I think I might have done it. Take one. Let's see. The goal is for it to carry all of my ice cubes. I'm gonna put in a strawberry next. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's officially sank to the bottom. Oh no, round one, it sank. But you know what, that's not too bad. It carried four ice cubes. I think what I went wrong with was 
uh, here, let me get out the water. These, the side here that I like pushed out, it ended up when the when the fruit was in here, the weight of the fruit kind of displaced it, and it pushed it pushed this side into the water, and it was easier. It took on more water than I would like it to. So, you know, take one didn't go so well, but that's not too bad. I learned. Now I'm going to try again. So I'm going to take out all my fruit, and I'm going to take out my boat, and I'm going to try to take two. Okay. Now, the next time I do this boat, I'm going to do more of a, more of like a raft boat. Um, so this is about like if I was stranded on a desert island and all I had was like trees and coconuts and you know, this is what I would make. And aluminum foil. I'd totally be able to get out of that. So I'm going to roll it. This is going to be not as like nice and neat, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to roll my sides versus folding them. I think because when I was folded, the lines were too, they were either too clear and concise and they were too um, perfect. So they were easy to take on water. But like if I have more of a like rougher edge, I feel like the little bumps and the grooves are gonna make it harder for us to take on water. So I'm gonna fold it in. This one, the boat's gonna actually be a little bit smaller. So that's, I think what I went wrong to in my last boat. It was, it was really big. So more opportunity for it to cake on water. So. Okay, so this is what I kind of went with. It's not as nice, it's not as pretty, but hey, if it works, if it gets me off that island. So I did the edges here are a little more crinkled and I really like made a scoop, kind of like, it's like a shovel a little bit, I can like scoop things up. So I'm gonna put it in the water and let's let's wait and see what happens. So it's it's floating, that's good, it's floating. Hasn't sunk yet, so let's start with our watermelon. Watermelon's going well. Let's move on to our grape. We've got our grapes. Hey, I think it might be working this time. Let's put our apple in. Yeah, see, this is what I was saying. The last time I put the apple in, it started to sink because the sides were too, they weren't, like this has something to lean up. The apple has something to lean against it. So it's the if the weight is being like spread out evenly. Okay. Strawberry. Who oh, went strawberry? I'm making like a fruit salad. Uh-oh, the strawberry. It's when it did sink last time was the strawberry because it became too heavy. But hey, this is still working. Okay, let's try two apples. <gasps> oh, it's I mean it's it's sinking a little bit, but it's not taking on water yet. And this is the last thing, one more strawberry. If it can hold this strawberry, I've made a boat that floats. Oh man, that strawberry just pushed it over. <laughs> well, at least they're in the water together. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think we had fun doing a science experiment. I loved it, it was the first time I did it and I learned a lot. Um, my second boat did better than my first boat, but it's still ultimately sunk. So that tells me I still have some more planning I need to do. My challenge for you is to do just that plan, make a, um, make a guess of what you think is going to happen. That's called a hypothesis. Um, you can plan out different types of boats you want to use. Maybe you want to use different materials. I like to use the, the foil cause it's light, but maybe you want to try to cardboard. What would happen with that? What would happen if you use paper plates? I don't know. What if happened if you use, instead of um, ice cubes, you use pennies, you know, try different things. Um, and that's my challenge to you. And I, if you do it, please tell your mom and dad to send me pictures of it. I'd love to see. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.